One of the things that makes me nervous about getting in the gym and being consistent and maybe losing weight or toning my body is that I don't want to turn into one of you all that makes it known and blasts how much you hated your fat body. Let's talk about it. Y'all know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. So what's going on, you all? It has been a, whew, I want to talk about it. So it's been about a year since I have been in the gym. Um, it's been an inconsistent year. <laughs> I finally have went back to the gym um, today, actually, um, after taking a month off because I had a cold and my allergies were really, really bad. And I just didn't want to be one of the folks, even though I knew it wasn't COVID, I didn't want to go to the gym sick. I know some folks <laughs> have no issue going to the gym, working out and being sick and potentially being infectious because at the end of the day, it's about giving gym body or whatever, not being fat or whatever have you. And I want to talk about that because I've been seeing people a lot who constantly critique their bodies. Like it is, when I tell you it's bad, um, and I was having a conversation with a friend and, you know, even he was saying like, I feel like that the conversation about anti-fatness has completely like died down now. Like people are now like even more retweeting, engaging and posting, um, videos of, or pictures of them, you know, losing weight. And I just honestly just saw a picture of someone on Twitter who was fat and now it's more like, you know, have a gym body now. And they, you know, were making this caption like, hey, like, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to read the caption to you all. Um, you know, and it's no shade to this person if they do find out it's them, but I'm not going to post a picture. But they posted and said, be careful how you treat people. You never know what the future looking like. So in the picture to the left, um, it's clear his face is more fuller. He might be fat or whatever. Um, and in the picture to the right, uh, he's more toned. He has muscles um, and he's more gym body. But what's interesting about the picture is I can tell that he's kind of photoshopped the, um, the skin a little bit. But, you know, people do realize, unfortunately, that there is ca capital um, in being thin and being like not fat and being muscular like there's capital in being desired um and you know fat folks know that like i know i know it um and i know how i was treated when i started to lose weight uh when i was in the gym like i, I know i saw how my friends engaged with me when i started to lose weight and you know i went from being like the quote unquote auntie motherly figure to now daddy trade. And our, our friends don't realize it. And there's no dig. I'm not trying to take any digs at my friends or anything, but it's just me being honest and speaking about it. I've talked about this a lot actually on Patreon. And, and shout out to the girls over at Patreon because like we be having conversations, a little plug, but we be having conversations, but I've been able to use my Patreon um, and put it behind you know, this wall of people who are very supportive and are listening to like my content and engaging in it in a very respectful way. And I just haven't felt comfortable talking about it publicly on YouTube because I know when we start talking about anti-fatness and stuff, people start to throw, there's nothing wrong with losing weight. There's nothing wrong with losing weight. There's nothing wrong with losing weight. And it's just like, girl, it's so more, it's so, it's way more nuanced than just that. And there are gonna be fat people who are just not going to lose weight. We need to create a world where a person's body is not a determinant of how we treat them and what resources we give them and what resources we deny them of. And that's what happens. Like we know that black folks are, you know, denied housing. Uh, we know that black folks, even black homeowners, when they're selling their homes, um, are getting less offers than if a white person was selling the home. 
Um, we know that. So when we go down, we talk about like, oh, if it's black folks, what about a fat black person? And so on and so forth. Like that, that happens. And as a person who's been, I wouldn't say I've been fat majority of my life, but I've been fat enough of my life, like as an adult um, and realizing um, that people, the way people engage, I see it a lot online. Um, even there's this, this meme of, of me and my fat body where I did a, like a little funny skit, fun skit with Raheem, who is a um, very known, well-known like porn star. Um, and it was just like, I didn't have no shirt on. I had on some like some pants or whatever. And you know, it, it made it look like I was getting my, my cheek clap. It was, it was funny. I thought it was funny and fun. Everybody knows me. No, Justin ain't taking no <laughs> like that. Like folks who know me like, I'll play with it, I'll do whatever, but I'm just not doing it. But it was like funny, it was fun. Uh, but, and people were shook because I went to go see him. Like I went, I was in LA uh, and you know, it was just folks like, you know, what's going on? Like they hanging out and people said, oh, they must go, Justin must go get him some. So it's like, okay, let me get the girls, let me make it seem as though I'm doing something like that. So people have now taken, um, like screenshots of the video and now like post it as a reaction meme or whatever and um, making fun of my like my fat body um, and making me like I actually think I look good in the video to be honest it's been a it was a lot of I got a couple of followers from it like a couple of folks was like <laughs> where the full video we want to see it but um, people understand that um, fat is like a quote unquote disgusting thing and now people are using this meme, not as like a funny meme to be like, you know, whatever. It's like, no, this is disgusting. So they use it as a response. And what's funny is the guy who recently posted it, um, I used to kind of like help him, like give him like um, notes and stuff about his YouTube channel and, um, you know, help him try to like, you know, take his, you know, YouTube or whatever career to the next level. Because I do that with a lot of people. But now because like, I am critical of Nicki Minaj and the things that she's done in the past. He did not like that. And now he harasses me online. It's just, if you always thought these things, why did you even like engage with me? And it's because y'all are used to using fat folks for labor. And I'm starting to recognize that now to the point that I'm not offering any more labor um, in the future. Like, it's just, it's a no, it's, it's a chop. Like I'm learning to say, no more because it is like a, a common thing that fat folks will do this and that like they'll be there like y'all have made us like the motherly um auntie figure and the caretaker and i just well like whatever like care i don't want to do any of that i just don't want to be a mammy for y'all i just don't so um going back um I know what it's like to be made fun of and my body being constantly critique. I don't have many pictures of me with no shirt on because I know that there is a high chance that this will be used against me. Um, I used to not post pictures um, from like the neck down. Like I was just, you would just not see pictures of me standing up. Like you would just not see. And People would say, oh, well, y'all are uncomfortable. Y'all are insecure. And I was like, you know, what's wrong with me? Why am I not? But then this is a reminder why I don't do that. Because y'all pick apart and make fat folks feel disgusted about their bodies. Y'all harass them a lot. Y'all use them. Uh, it's the first thing that y'all bring up whenever y'all upset. Like, you fat, whatever. It's like, automatically. Automatic. Like, it's just, so why would we do that? Like, why would we do that? Even, like, engaging on Jacked and how men, you know, oh, okay, I like thick bodies, but let me see a picture with your shirt off. I want to see how fat you are. I had a guy who was like, oh, I like thick guys, da, 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 and then send him a picture. He was like, oh, but not that thick. Which is why I'm very, like, I am very critical of how the term thick is being used because thick was like a thing that folks didn't want to be called at first. Like no, like gym body folks, people who've been in the gym did not want to be called thick. 
They did not want to be called thick. They was like, no, I got a gym body. I'm muscular, like da da da. da. But now we're seeing that thick is being used for someone who has a like very muscular body, and that's not thick to me. That's not thick to me, and it, it isn't. Uh, and now you have these folks now occupying a space of what a, what was supposed to be body positivity, and it's just like it's no more, no more. The same way that you know it was jokes about men having titties, like men don't have titties, like. You got titties for a man. You got titties for for a man. Like constantly being said. That being said, now you have cis men now referred to their very muscular like chest and pecs as titties, milkers, and all that. But I remember that they didn't want to be associated with that because I don't have titties. I have a chest. But now it's like I got titties too, and it's just like all this language is being co-opted, and it's just. I don't know, like it's, it, it, you know, and I can go down a whole rabbit hole, rabbit hole about all of these things, but I just want to talk about the feeling of now getting back into the gym after a month and feeling good. Because when I went to the gym today, I felt amazing after leaving. I was like, okay, girl, I got my heart rate pumping, da da da. da. I'm feeling good. It tires me out, so I can go to sleep. And I've been in a very depressive state for the like the last two months to be honest it started around December um, and I just was feeling unmotivated I just didn't feel like getting out the bed uh, and I was staying up later than I usually am and I was not waking up on the time I usually was um, and I just wasn't motivated and I stopped going to the gym like I was not going to the gym as much um, and I just like it was it was hard so now you know I probably have, I've not been on the scale, I do not get on the scale because I do want to be critical of myself like that, but um, last year I did lose about 20, probably close to like 20 or 30 pounds and how I was engaged uh, when I was posting pictures and stuff and when I, where people would see me, people were, uh, you know, oh my gosh, you look so good, you look good, da, 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 da. And it was very a lot of a lot of comments and stuff about my 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 weight loss and all the thing, all the things and I just noticed how people engaged me. So I did a thing where I was like, you know, I wanted to see how I would be engaged um, on dating apps. And um, because when I got on there earlier, like last year, um, I was like 30 pounds heavier. And now I'm wearing the same clothes and stuff. It's now some folks who weren't engaging, who weren't responding, are now responding. And still folks who don't respond because I'm still am fat, but I'm less fat. But me now knowing the less fat that I am, the more engagement and more uh, you know, responses and stuff that I get. It's very telling. And I see that with folks who were fat, uh, who I follow, and some people I see post more pictures, more shirtless pictures and stuff. And I see folks who are very gym body. Like I follow a couple of folks and I'm in their close friends. I love y'all down. But I will say that it is depressing as hell to see you all constantly critique your gym bodies. Like it's not even to the point. And these folks will dress it up. Oh, this is body dysmorphia, girl. This is not body dysmorphia. <laughs> like... I've never seen someone with body dysmorphia post so many pictures. I've never, it just, it's wild to me. It, I'm sorry, it's not like Bob the Drag Queen. It's wild to me for someone to like hate their body so much, but yet still post it and still receive so much like praise and stuff for it. And I'm, I'm like, I don't think this is body dysmorphia. I think this is anti-fatness. I think that you don't want to be fat. Uh, like you just, you don't want any fat on your body. You just don't want any fat. And it's not even about like health wise because people, when people ask me, what is my goal to go into the gym? I don't have a goal. Like yes, in some like perfect world, I would love to be a little bit more toned. I would love to like be toned, but the reasons for me being toned, if I really think about it, is to be more desirable to me to be more desirable but me knowing how i am and how i work and how my mental capacity is 
it's very unlikely for me to get there because I'm not going to be consistently in the gym. I've never been able to do that. There's only been one time I've been able to do that, and that was when I was in, in basic training for like 10 weeks. And I didn't have any choice. But I picked that weight back up once I got out. Like, I slowly picked up that weight over time. There is a slim chance that I will tone up and my body will like shift. I've noticed it as I've like been more active and stuff. Um, and I've noticed how people engage with me. I and know how people, you know, now like desire me um, versus they did not see me at first. They, they did not see me as a person. Uh, they saw me as other and I'm used to being treated as other, being queer, being dark skinned, being HIV positive. Um, and like now it's just like, I, I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. So, you know, getting online and seeing the constant like before and after pictures of someone being fat and now being toned and muscular, like it's severely depressing. It's depressing and I'm not telling folks that they can't lose weight. I think that's where people were land at. It's like, you can't tell me that. I can't tell you what to do with your body. And even if I did, you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> you, you probably won't. I've seen a lot of other things that people don't necessarily like listen to. But what I'm saying is, is how you critique your body that is depressing for a lot of us. Um, how you talk about your body, how you engage with your body. If you're sitting here critiquing the fat on your body, like to like hatred, to the point that like it's so bad, like you have fat friends, you have fat loved ones, you have fat other people in your life, I would think, some of y'all do, um, or maybe you don't. And that happens too because I know a lot of y'all unfortunately don't have a lot of fat friends. I'm honestly probably the fat friend for a couple of people. The only fat friend for a couple of folks. Uh, and that's sadly because I am entertaining. I am a good, lovable person. I am a good listener and a good advice and all the other stuff. Once again, labor. Once again, labor. Uh, and it's not about like, you know, I, I see other things like, <laughs> I see other things and how other things are engaged. Like, Friends will be friends with another like person that has never done anything, never shown up for them, and they will still like them because they, in some way, shape, or form, desire them. They still see them as desirable, even though they might not sleep with them, but they still do desire them, and that comes like with capital, like it does. Uh, versus like you know, like me, I have to be more. I can't just be fat and just mediocre. I can't. I can't. I'm not allowed to do that. Like, I can't. Um, it's already like a lot of mediocre folks who are purely surviving off of desire capital. Like, you see that. I see that in the porn world all the time. Where the strokes ain't giving. The none of it is giving. It's just not good. There are a lot of folks we even greet, but their bodies and the way their face is, it gives them a lot of capital to be able to, oh girl, you know, a lot of folks watch sp sp specific, you know, people because, not because the content is engaging, not even just non-porn, but just like regular content. It's just like, but they look good. I see it. I see a lot. I see, um, and I don't really want to like name anybody, but I've seen like content creators who, have grown significantly over time in ways that it never happened for me if I, if like it just won't just happen like that for me. Uh, but the content is not really giving anything, but it's the fact that they are able to sell masculinity and desirability, which is like the same thing. Uh, they're able to sell it like people will engage and follow them and support them based off of just that. Uh, and allow them grace to do things. And it's like, I know that being in industry, I, I know that. Um, in the same way that someone tweeted about Lizzo um, today, or was it yesterday? And they said that the flute playing woman, um, like, there's nothing special about her. Like, what's so special about the flute? 
And <laughs> Lizzo is a musician. Like Lizzo can read music. She can write music. She can play many instruments. Um, she can dance. She can sing. She's a performer. She's all of these things. Lizzo could not be, the world wouldn't allow Lizzo to be a mediocre fat performer. There are not that many mediocre, there are hardly any, and somebody probably would name some, there are not any mediocre fat black folks that are famous. No, you can't name any. But I can name a lot of artists who can't perform, can't dance, can't sing live, uh, can't do a lot of things. Can't do a lot of things. But I allowed that because, you know, they look a certain way. It's just what it is. It just is what it is. I can't allow myself to be mediocre. I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm doing if I was mediocre. Like, I, like it's just, I just, I want to be allowed. People are not watching me because I'm a quote unquote beautiful face or I am desirable. People enjoy the content. They enjoy the commentary that I give um, versus other people I've seen that it's a constant, constant conversation about what they look like, how beautiful they are, how attractive they are, and how much they want to smash them and all the other stuff. And it's just, you know, it, it is this is just how the world works. And I know some people will probably take this as like jealousy. Uh, and I will say I, it, I am jealous. I am very jealous. But I'm not jealous to the point that I want to look like that. I'm jealous to the point that I want to live in a world where I don't have to look like that to be engaged. That's the world I want to live in. That, that, I, that I don't have to look like this person for people to treat me a certain way. I want people to be honest and just say, hey, like, you know, I do... I do watch like certain people because I just like the way they look instead of like skipping over words and being confused of, Oh, like, what? like just, yeah, girl. But throughout all the comments you've said, you've always talked about how they look. It's so much to the point now that you see these get ready with me or then the life vlogs now on Instagram and TikTok, And you just basically see, like a lot of just men, black men in shorts with no shirts on, uh, showing print, showing their, their gym bodies. Uh, and it's not even about them getting ready. It's nothing like people don't even know who these people are. But it's just they look good on camera. <laughs> they look good. They Because they're selling desirability. And um, it's also funny because men used to drag the hell out of women for showing like, you know, Cakes and you know, all the other stuff and coochie prints and all that other stuff. But now me and I are doing the same. Like they're doing it even more. Like Instagram model used to be a very like dragging thing, uh, a derogatory thing. Oh, you're an Instagram model. You're like, you know, post, but da, 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 da. like you're a thought. But now me and I are here doing it. See how stuff be co opted? Um, but yeah, like <laughs> I know I rambled and I talked about a lot of stuff. Uh, in this video, but I just needed to get it off of my chest. I've been holding it in like from not post posting it on YouTube for a minute But um, I do want us to think about how we engage in people how we treat folks um, how desirability works uh, You know how desire capital shows up uh, And you know, I just want people to just understand that um, And I appreciate all the people in my life who have taught me about these things and I have learned so much um, from. So um, that's all I got. Y'all let me know. I know the fat folks gonna show up in the comments and and tell us about their experiences. And I'm hoping and, and I will be monitoring the comments because I want fat folks to feel comfortable sharing their experiences and how they've been treated and how the world engages with them. And all negative comments will be blocked and they will be hidden. Um, and I appreciate the folks who do feel comfortable sharing their stories. Thank you so much. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.